So if you see this question, they given touch is 68. We need to find for error. This is number coding related question. We should convert the letters into numbers. So 20, 15, that all things. Actually, no need to write this in exam. Okay, you need to do calculation directly in your mind. So 20, you can have to directly calculate. T is 20, O is 15, 35 plus 21, 56 plus 3. Okay, so 59 plus 8, 67. They given plus 1 or that likewise you need to do calculations directly. Okay, we got 67 if I am not wrong. They are given as 68. So plus 1. So for error, R is there 18 into 3, 54. And this one, one extra I am adding right now, 55. 55 plus 20 will get 65. So but that's not there in the option. So 8, 54. Sorry, up. Yeah. One more option is there. 55 only available. 75 not there. That's what. 75 is correct. 76 should be required, not 75 also. Plus 1. As per this one, no? So 18, 3 times 54. 54 plus 5. 59 plus. We'll see other logic also. Wait, wait. 75 as per this. Okay, okay, okay. But options are not there. Then you think about the other logic. Is there any other possibility? Like reverse code also, you try. Okay, maybe right. In forward code, you are not getting the answer. There also we got a clash. Here also we have an issue. Now think about reverse coding. Options also not there. Right, so plus one also. We are doing plus one also still. 75 only, it's not work. Then we have to think about reverse code. If you go with reverse code, T is nothing but 7. O is 12. U is 6. C is nothing but 24, H is nothing but 19, okay, here 30, this is uh, 31, 61 plus 7, 68, perfect. So for E reverse code is 22, for R, which is nothing but I, 9, 3 times 27, O is 12, so 61 is correct. Reverse code logic, sir, in exam, Okay, we given already this tricks how to remember the reverse code. If suppose still you people are not able to do, what we can do now, you go for the exam, they are asking more questions related to coding and decoding, analogy, hard one out, if that is the case, no? You can go to the exam hall, once you sit there, you prepare A to Z, but don't write A to Z, listen, don't write A to Z directly in one line, always do like this, A to M, cut there, then write from N to Z reverse. With this, what's the advantage you people know? Okay, one thing we always recommend to remember the value of forward code and reverse code and opposite pairs, all the stuff what we given long back. Okay, if we are not failed to do that, at least write it in a proper manner. This is 1, 2, so on up to 13. This is 14, 25, 26. So if you write in this fashion, no, there are three things will be covered directly. One is forward code. Reverse code is, the letter below is reverse code. B below, what is the number? 25, that's the reverse code. Y above 2 is the reverse code for Y. For N, reverse code is 13. Normal code is 14. For M, normal code is 13. Reverse code is 14. That's one advantage. So we got reverse code, forward code, both. But we should cut at M only. Okay. Uh, don't write twice. A lot of people are writing A to Z. 1 to 26. Then again writing 26 to 1. Waste of time. The other one opposite pair also. In some questions now they will give opposite pair. A and Z is one opposite pair. B and Y is one opposite pair. M and N is one opposite pair. These are all opposite pairs actually. Right.